I'm making a game where you can destroy every object on the map, including buildings, trees, cacti and much more. If this is your thing, make sure to stay until the end for a very special treat. You might wonder, what's so special about my destruction system? I mean, everybody can take a mesh, slice it up into pieces, slap it all together inside Unity and there you have your destruction system. But wait, I assure you, this is way different than that. Since I wanted to make the destruction system work for buildings too, I couldn't get away with such a simple solution. I mean, you can imagine if a building had a health bar and then when you kill the building it just falls apart. Yeah, that's a bit too lame for my taste. You know what? I'm gonna make a super realistic destruction system, just like in games like Battlefield and Teardown. <laughs> it can be that hard. One eternity later. After 11 mental breakdowns, 2 packs of tranquilizer pills, 32 liters of Red Bull, 3 police interventions and definitely a few years less to live, I proudly present to you my node-based destruction system. Before I even try to continue, yes, I have added explosions and I'll talk about them in just a bit. So how does this fabulous node system work? Well, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple for this video, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll try to answer all of them. So, like I mentioned before, I took a mesh and separated it into multiple pieces using Blender's amazing self-fracture tool and a bit of elbow grease. I call these pieces shards. The next thing I did was to, for the first time ever, try and make an editor script. Well, it went as good as one might expect. Once I finally made it work, the purpose of this script was to collect all of these shards and combine them into nodes, which act as one physical object and have only one mesh to save resources. Every shard has its strength and when a shard is chipped off, the node checks if it's still connected to the ground. If not, the physics are activated and all the neighboring nodes are updated too. This allows for a pretty realistic-ish looking destruction while still running very well. Can you imagine making a destruction system and not adding explosives to the game? Me neither. That's why I added a very cool feature. Can you guess what it is? It's... It's, um, it's explosives. They can hurt buildings, people, nature, other explosives and so on. But to make them a bit cooler, I would need to add some explosive based weapons, which is exactly what I did. I added two new weapons, first of them being the soda pop, because I thought I was smart. I called it that way because of a wordplay on soda and pop because some people call it soda and some call it pop, <laughs> or at least that's what I thought. And then our lovely Discord members told me in the most polite way possible that I was absolutely wrong about it. Then I got a lot of ideas from our lovely members like soda pop, pop soda, um, poppy soda, and this one which I can't read without speeding on my monitor. But aside from its very cool name and its gorgeous look, I mean that's one fine looking soda can. <laughs> This is just a regular grenade. But don't be disappointed, I've got something not so regular for you. Meat Bottle Server, a rocket launcher that shoots plastic bottles filled with explosives. It doesn't care about disposal of plastic bottles in an ecological way, but it certainly does care about disposing of your enemies. While it's my favorite new weapon, I'm still not sure if it has a good name, so if you have any ideas of what I should call this weapon, please let me know. So we have a destruction system and we have explosives. The only logical thing to do next is to give these fairly dangerous weapons to active ragdolls who can barely stand upright by themselves. Sounds like a plan. This sight and this sound is what makes me really excited about this game. Imagine all the possibilities with these mechanics in the future. If you don't want to get smacked with a pop soda right in the face like this, make sure to like, subscribe and watch this video here to find out how my combat system works. Bye.